And so actually that it is in the front. So arrange, bring to front, and pull these out just a little bit. And the last thing that I want to do, I want to add a background to this. So I'm going to go to the shape menu and let's take that off. Add a shape. That shape comes into the back or and let's cover that over and I'm going to arrange that and send it to the back. I'm also going to add a gradient to this shape. So over on the right hand side to the inspector, I'm going to select advanced gradient fill. I want to go from blue to yellow again. So I'm going to click the right hand stop, give that a color, and I can change the angle if I want just by dragging. Now you can save your gradient fills if you like that you create on your own. And to do that, over on the right hand side, I clicked clicked on the gradient fill icon, I could take the current gradient fill and I can drag it down into the gradient fill wells. And when I release it, it will fill in one of the uh, existing default colors. Now that can be fine if that's what you want to do, but you can also do this. If I go up to the top where the style um, menu is, not menu, but tab is selected, I can click on the right arrow right here and I can save this style. So if I want to use it later or say, or use it in another um, project that I can create, I can have that available to me. So I'm going to save this. And now what I'm going to do just for what I need to do next, I'm going to lock the background. All right. So the plan is to take these images that I have on slide two. I want to minimize their size, but I want to bring one to the